Hello and welcome to this next tutorial. Um, I'm going to build a 2017 car um, from the uh, 2017 regulations. Uh, the first thing to do is basically understand what the body is, the wheels, the nose cone, wing supports, um, all the important critical dimensions of the, the actual car. So, here we go. As you can see from this example, um, it's uh, within regulations. Um, I've done a presentation here of the finished item. So there's the car, uh, the drawings that were created from this, uh, the wheel system, um, critical dimensions explained, and then how the wheels fit onto the bearings and the, the, uh, the shaft of the um, spindle. And again, I've done a little, little video of how it all fits together. Okay, good. So back into Fusion. Okay, so let's start from from new. So what I do is go File, New Design. Good. Once that's done, uh, once that's done, I sketch a line, and I'm going to choose the top plane. And I know from experience, <coughs> if I draw a line here, I want this to be around about 70 mil uh, wide. So uh, I'll go for th uh, 35. Okay. So 35, the back end of the car I want to be about 40, I know the wheel diameter is, the width of the wheel is 15, so I'm going to take this down to 17 and a half, the wheel diameter is 26, so I'm going to go 30, which gives me the allowance. The main part of the body, um, I'm going to go for about 50. I come back down to 17 and a half, and the remain the rain, remaining part of the front of the body, I'm going to take the 15 millimeter exclusion zone, 26, so call it 30, so 15, 45, 60, 70. Yep, I'm going to take that 80. There, 85 to the front. Good. So that's basically the whole car. I then sketch another line in the centre, which gives me the vertical reference plane. And I trim that one. Sorry, edit and do. Edit and do. Sorry, I want to mirror that. So I select the lines I want to mirror. So this saves you making the car as one whole item and I mirror about my vertical reference plane which is here and I click OK and what I then tend to do is delete that line I then go to an isometric view I create extrusion and I know that the height of my my car is going to be 24 millimeters high good so I'm really really happy with that that's good all right so the next bit would be to create, sketch another two-point rectangle, or even better, I could go for a line, I'll go for a center line. So I'll put a center line in first, there it is, okay, okay, I'm going to just trim that off, because I'm not particularly happy with the height of it. Um, I'll select a line from here, Make sure that's in line. Do it again. There you go. Okay, that's better. I can take another line then. From here, right down to the centre of the car. This is going to be the main car body. And at this point here, I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to get a curve. <coughs> Let's have a look. I would get a mechanical curve. And I just want to take that to this point here and just bend that in a little bit and I click OK. Same again, sketch. I would want to mirror this line against this surface here. Click OK. Again, it's a good habit to trim any reference lines. There we go. 
Next stage, I'm going to put it into a 3D view. I'm going to create an extrusion at a height of 25. Click OK. Now that's part of the, the, the uh, side of the car. The next stage, I would select this face, and what we're going to do is put a curvature all the way down to the front of the car. So, okay, so I'm going to trim this line, this one, sketch a line from here. I want that to be 50. Fifty, and sketch another line from there right down to the front of my car. Take it back up to here, back to here. Okay. Just make sure that line was completed there. Good. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create extrude and I want to cut make sure you select the whole se selection symmetrical about that plane so I'm going to cut out that part of the body and click OK good as you can see now it's starting to take shape right the next stage I click on the back here and I want to put my hole in, so I sketch um, sketch a line. Now I know that my center line needs to be 29 millimeters from the bottom. That's the size of the hole. I then sketch circle, circle. Now that has to be 19, 19 millimeters. Enter. Um, I'm going to trim, trim that away. I don't need that reference anymore. Pull it out. And then what I'm going to do is go create extrusion. And I want to cut. <coughs> when you're cutting the, the chamber, there is a safety zone, um, and a critical dimension is the is very important on the depth on the depth. So I'm going to set our depth to uh, 55. So if I go back into into Fusion, I've set that depth there to 55. Okay, that's good. Right, it's starting to take shape now. Um, the next thing I want to do is um, modify a fillet. If I select this face and this face here, I'm going to set that fillet to um, 15. Happy with that. Select Enter. So now I've got the, the curved um, edge that's uh, looking good. Um, the next sort of step that I'd be looking at would be the um, rear and front aerofoil. Okay so before starting the rear and front aerofoil you've got to understand the cord length and thickness. It's very important indeed. So if I go back down to here okay so what I would do now I would sketch an ellipse. Stop sketch again. I would sketch um, an ellipse on the central plane there. I zoom in. I'm going to take that central point there. That's fine. 18 is fine. And I always set the height of that to about three enter okay so we've got an 18 millimeter cord um, which I'm happy with 
I just zoom into that now you can see there's the position of my aerofoil uh, create extrusion and again I want to join symmetrical now what I tend to do here I always look from above so I can see where it's going and 40 is too much if I make it 70 35 that's fine that's ideal and if you look at that the aerofoil does not interfere with the wheel system that's a rule that we need to look at later I'll run through some of the critical rules um, later on uh, but that's looking good okay so that's your um, aerofoil here now before I put the front aerofoil in what I've got to do is put the position of my wheel holes right and that's going to be um, quite crucial so I've got to take into consideration the diameter of the wheel which is um, 26 I divide that by 2 to get a radius of 13 and I want a clearance of 2 millimeters so that's 13 9 I normally put a hole um, 10 millimeters from the center okay and in this case I'm gonna set two wheels um, 98 millimeters apart yeah 98 millimeters apart and 10 millimeters from the bottom you'll understand that later so to do that for, first of all I'm going to um, sketch a circle right so I go to the center here but prior to that what I would do is just put a reference line just for your point there so 10 millimeters okay um, just going to stop that sketch there um, what I tend to do then is just um, trim trim that off there trim that trim that sketch another circle okay but prior before we do that set your line remember so at that point there that's 60 plus 15 which is your your so that's 60 75 plus another 15 right 90 would be ideal click OK okay so now you can see the pos position of the um, the center of the hole so just double check that now okay there we go um, edit sketch what I would like to do this one is sketch sketch dimension this one here that should be three and the same with this one double click on that three enter so that means you've got three um, Damage of three, which is the size of the um, shaft that goes through the uh, the axle that goes through the car. All right. So once I'm happy with that, click on stop sketch. Happy with that now. Good. Now the next thing I want to do is create an extrusion. So I just want to put a hole through here and here. Yeah. Good one. And I want to go symmetrical and it goes there I like to do that so I know it's going all the way through so I've got my whole references there we go good and just for your reference it's probably a good thing we can add wheels later but what I would like to do is just add two um, two wheels to it so it's like a dummy run it's quite handy to do this um, so if I select on there sketch circle one there 26 enter back over here put another wheel here enter sketch another circle 26 